Okay, I have my new USB to serial converter. We'll see. We'll test if it will it will be able to communicate. I already installed the driver of the uh, driver of this USB to serial converter, R S three to converter. We can just plug in here at the back. Okay, so RS Link, RS Link, RS Logic 500 already installed. I already powered up the. This is actually good. I already powered up the PLC. This is MicroLogic 1500. This is the RS232. Disconnected here. Disconnected here and here. Okay. I'll open the first. I'll open the device manager. I'll open the device manager. I'll open the device manager first to check the comport. check the com port okay com port usb to serial converter that is com number 22 com 22 now we know the com port number we will proceed to rs link okay we'll configure driver configure driver running some complex I don't know stop configure driver some existing driver is already running we will be stopping stop we'll configure new driver df1 add df1 3 okay so comport we already know it's 22 COM22 ok COM22 our PLC is micro logic then auto configure we'll see ok successful auto configuration successful then press ok then it is running now ok you may close this one on your DF13 this is the one nothing okay I reopen the RS link I close it and reopen now it's able to detect the PLC this is now the PLC so minimize the RS link is set now we will open the RS logics open the RS logics Mm. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll check the com com settings. We'll select DF3, DF1-3. This is the one. We'll select that one. Upload. Upload. So we will create new file okay upload we are now uploading uh, file while well, uploading the ladder from the cpu of the plc it may take some few minutes okay now complete upload you have to go online yes go online please uh, now run okay, a remote run now we are online we are now online okay we are now online that's it